Would you like to know how not to cook on El Capitan? We are going to go to the bottom of the heart of El Cap, and we are going to have a cookout with several of our friends with a barbecue and steak and wok, quesadillas and veggies and all sorts of stuff. Stay tuned for the shenanigans. Hi, I'm Ryan and welcome to Yosemite. Today we are going to go up the heart. We're going to haul a bunch of stuff. Um, we're going lightweight though, but we're bringing a lot of lightweight stuff. That's why the bags are so big. Hi, I'm the other Ryan. And today we're going to do a barbecue cookout halfway up El Cap. We're going to take the barbecue I got. It is going to go at the bottom. And then we're going to put the heaviest things on top. A whole thing of orange juice for one single night. Our canister of Fuel, two filet mignons, some sausage and eggs, some bread and gouda cheese, and of course the big wall essential watermelon, which of course we don't want to have too much weight, so we are going to peel the sticker off and make sure we leave it here because we don't want to look like we were unprepared. Okay, let's go. Dude, we're going to be late for the barbecue. Ryan, where are we going? Well, we're going to Heart Ledges, so it's that heart shaped thing over there. And I'm hoping to get a workout in today, huh? Too bad. I should mean, have brought I, the sticker. Should have brought the sticker. Well, I, I need to uh, earn the steak. Mm. So uh, I'm thinking about watching you haul more intensely so I burn off more calories. Are we there yet? Do you have the watermelon? I don't know which one of us has the watermelon. Feels I have the watermelon. How many watermelons did we bring? Only one because we're wussies. But uh, this bag is twice as heavy on top as it is on the bottom. <laughs> so it's really, really hard to hide this. <sighs> the eggs, dude. The eggs. Let's do it. It's uh, dark. <laughs> I'm at the top of the first pitch with the bag. And Ryan is ascending the second pitch here. There are five. And uh, it was 1.33 kilonewtons to pull up four of these bags full of crap we don't need. This is pretty funny. What jug pitch are we on? Uh, this is the third. Set. Two more of these? Yeah, this one's pretty much hauled already. Like, yeah, yeah. 10 feet away from the anchors. Yeah. So I'll just go up there and finish the haul and then two more. Yeah. Check out how to haul on our other video. We're already making a series. I'm the star I'm taking over. He's retiring. <laughs> it's because your name's Ryan. It yeah. works. It's a smooth transition. He has no headlamp. <laughs> so when I... That's him jugging. <laughs> Welcome to our ledge. Welcome to our ledge. Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, are we going to have a party tonight? Oh, yeah. Rage it. All right. Are we ready for uh, dinner? It's 10 o'clock at night because that's how El Capitan works. Nothing happens early. <laughs> Just your standard big wall edition. And we are going to not step backwards without looking where we're going. Don't drop it. <laughs> Don't drop it. Right it's round, here. dude. Be it's careful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we did it, man. We did it. We did it. Good job. We can't have wine and steak without mood. Reassembled the barbecue here. Ready to start the grill. Getting our food situated. So what are these? Yellow squash. Yellow squash. The filet mignon is done-ish. What are you uh, cutting up here? This beautiful bell pepper, look, it has so many colors. So I don't beautiful. think I've ever eaten fresh food on a big one. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to attempt to open up our wine. This is uh, the vineyard I live on. Uh, it has where the lab is at. And uh, I'm gonna try to open this up now. I'm gonna try to open it up with this modified concrete screw. No, not even close. Did you blow the cork? We're trying to use the dyno to find out how strong a cork is. Do you have a wine bottle opener? I thought you were being novel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm committed to it now, but yeah, I mean, maybe. How not to wine. We now have bagged wine. Wow. 10 out of 10 would not recommend doing that with the wine you bought. Pretty good, right? That's pretty not bad. 
Yeah. I actually have to slap it. I don't know. Yeah. It's up to you. Has it been bad? What happened to your quesadilla? I don't know, real master. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like the dark side of the moon. This is I had no part in this. <laughs> I love the ambiance. What are you eating for dessert? S'mores flavor pop tarts. <laughs> it is one in the morning. Yeah. We are all portaledged up. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. So for breakfast this morning, we have organic, uh, most trusted brand, vegetarian fed hens, as opposed to the meat eating raptor hens. <laughs> what do hens normally eat? <laughs> Other hens? I don't know. I was, I was like, this makes me sad when I read <laughs> vegetarian hens. All right, anyways, before I have uh, my Wheaties for breakfast, I'm going to go high line and then we're going to cook. Here is Anchor A on the L cap line. A lot of cams on that side. We're going to walk it. We're going to take some photos. Base camp is down there. We are at the bottom of the heart. So this thing is the heart shape on El Capitan. This is Salathay and Free Rider. Welcome. When did you come up? Just came up this morning, 6 a.m. When did you start your day? Got up at 1 a.m. so I could drive out here and jug up at sunrise. <laughs> That's about when I went to bed. And I got welcomed with hot tea, so <laughs> it's all worth it. What'd you bring for breakfast? Uh, carne asada burrito and a breakfast burrito. Got our watermelon, oatmeal yogurt and almond milk, dozen eggs, sausage, stove, barbecue, stoke, Super stoked. So the key to big wall cooking is have one person who can move and then you don't. I spilled an egg right in the only flat spot we have. I brought enough food for a week and so did everybody else. <laughs> it's too much work to walk up there and give them bread they asked for. Oh no! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> you almost died for it! It's important to use the appropriate sized knife while cutting your watermelon on El Capitan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, buddy! Yeah. Dude, that worked out well. <laughs> In Gree Gree, we trust. <laughs> We needed help eating all this food we brought. <laughs> mm. Thank you, sir. What are you making? Guacamole. <laughs> cool. You making a salad? No, we're gonna yeah. make some guac. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. We just we yeah, just we made just it. Here. There's also watermelon. Another another drive through. Wow. Coming through for guacamole. I feel. So lucky right now. If you actually need things you need, like water, we have that too. Do you walk a high line? I'm terrible at high lining. Gonna say. I've tried once. <laughs> I got like two steps out. <laughs> well, you got that in one try, I think you can do it. <laughs> you just need to try like four more times. <laughs> we uh, ran out of watermelon. <laughs> it's in the barbecue. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. While well, you make custom, fresh guacamole up here, can you tell me what's realistic for people to actually cook and take on big walls? You mean, you don't want to bring this every 
Yeah, I actually do. This is a good example, actually, of like, you don't want something that's super messy. You're gonna waste water or like napkins or materials trying to like you clean to out your all. bowls. You have to eat it all, yeah. Yeah. Which should be easy though. I love soup and bringing a jet boil on the wall is great. There's like, some like Tasty Bite Indian tasty food meals. Bites, yeah. Um, and it's cool because you can get like boil in a bag rice mm -hmm. and you can like make your rice with some water and then reuse that same water to like heat up your Tasty Bite meal that you just warm up. It's only a couple bucks. And then you can use that water again to like either do dishes or like make tea or hot chocolate. And then you're like not wasting anything. And then the Tasty Bite packet, you open it up and you can like put your rice in and you don't have any dirty dishes. Like it's all like contained and put in a Ziploc bag when you're done. Um, that does sound pretty good. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like bomb, dude. It's like delicious. And it's like full meal. You got your carbs, you got everything. <laughs> That's this, it's not this. Really? Who's me. ready? <laughs> It's not this. <laughs> this is something you don't want to bring? Chips? Yeah. Crushable things? It's crushable yeah. things? Unless you want to drink your crushed chips. <laughs> oh. uh. So, when I was a kid, I used to have butter at room temperature. Like, you, my parents would just leave it out on the counter. And, you know, you make toast with it. It spreads easier. Whatever. It's not cold. Not frozen. It lasts forever. Like, when's the last time you've been like, oh, that butter's been sitting out. It's not good anymore. It's indefinite. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a genius. I'm gonna pre-cook a bunch of noodles, throw some butter on there and salt. I got butter noodles. I like to eat butter noodles. I'll eat it for a few dinners in a row, whatever. I made two gallon bags full of it. And then went up for this 14 day wall. Um, <laughs> 14 days is a lot of days. Yeah, after like three days in the sun, somehow there was like some fermentation or some voodoo that went down and those things went rancid and it was all I brought. No! And I had no way to heat them up and I just ate like bad buttered noodles for 10 more days. <laughs> um, as long as you don't do that, bring anything else. <laughs> yeah, give Ryan some of that guac. I can't share my story without holding the wok bowl. It's like a talking pillow. I took Cliff Bars one time because I used to like them. I only took Cliff Bars for five days on Washington Column. Don't ask why I spent five days on Washington Column. And uh, I couldn't eat them after two days. Like I couldn't chew them. Uh, and so we were going hungry and had to come down and it was really, really bad. It's very important to have variety. Maybe not this much variety, but if you're gonna do a dinner, do something different the next day, that includes brands. Mountain House is a brand. Don't only bring Mountain House. Be more creative than that. Uh, something I can do is I can freeze the two liter bottles, some of them, and I'll make a, uh, like a fridge at the bottom that I can actually put some more perishable items. And those, in theory, yeah, good weather, will f thaw out before you need to drink them. Otherwise you're sleeping with them trying to thaw them out. But uh, if you plan your water well, you can actually have like a little refrigerator, have some, eat your perishables first, save the mountain houses for the end. Your buttered noodles, you could eat on the first three days. So what um, is this? This is a jet boil with its hang kit, which I think is... I've never actually seen one of these in person. So sweet to have on the wall, especially at a hanging belay. If you're in a port camping ledge. at night in your portal ledge, you could just hang it right up for outside use only. Mm. Imagine that. Imagine that. Does that count inside of a portal ledge fly? You'll probably die. <laughs> no, we've definitely done it. No, we just that. Yeah. We've done it. It's not safe. <laughs> Don't do it at home. We didn't die. Okay, so I'm having breakfast on the ground and we realized this is a really good tip. I have an instant oatmeal packet here and I don't had I didn't have anything else more handy, so I just used my jacket. I poured hot water, boiling hot water directly into this. We use an electric kettle and you would have a jet boil if you're on a wall. And uh, yeah, you pour it directly into the packet and then you don't have any dishes afterwards. You just clean your spoon with your lips when you're done. But um, you definitely want to have something between your hand and this, otherwise it's going to burn your hand. But yeah, you don't need a bowl for your oatmeal if you just do that. You guys look really familiar. Where have I seen you before? Um, in your dreams. <laughs> Are you guys uh, climbing with a rainbow in the background somewhere? Well, we went up on El Cap during the winter when it was storming kind of and like really wet so we could capture Horsetail Falls and we thought everyone's like looking at the firefall but they're all down, down below 
It seems freaking lame. <laughs> so a... let's go check it out from a little bit higher. Yeah. And we ended up getting some really good photos from the trip. Cool. Yeah. And so you and shot her and Eric Sloan was Blaine. Yeah, for the guidebook cover of the new Big Wall book. Sick. Which you should definitely check out and buy. Yeah. <laughs> it's got yeah. some highlining stuff in it too. It does it have does. a few highlining like, things in it. Probably like one of the first climbing guides to have like... First published, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Highline topos yeah. in it.